1945, an atomic bomb destroyed most of this city in the Second World War. Now, all new and reborn is one of the most interesting places to visit in Japan. This is Nagasaki. Guys, we're in Nagasaki, Japan. Now, we're going to visit the Bow Museum, of course. It's sad, but it's part of the history of this beautiful city. So, what to do, no? Uh, what to do. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna eat something, of course, something uh, typical like ramen. Oh, Japanese yeah, yeah, yeah. Ramen. We're gonna eat ramen. Yes. But not the one that comes in this little package and you put two, two, two minutes <laughs> in the hot water. No, no, no. The real, <laughs> ramen. real ramen. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Well, actually, we're gonna show you the city. So, let's don't waste time. Let's, 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 let's start go. the video, yeah. Yes. Nagasaki is a big city with 450,000 people living here. It's also an important port and a lot of cruises come here. Basically, that's how we came here. There are many attractions related to the atomic bomb here in Nagasaki. We will start visiting the bomb museum. We will take a streetcar, the number one. In every station, the information is clear and also in English, so don't worry. The bomb museum in Nagasaki is a very important place to visit. The atomic bomb is part of the history of this city and even of this country. More or less 80,000 people died because of the bomb. There are even clocks that stop with the bomb and mark the exact moment of the explosion. Also monuments from churches that didn't get completely damaged, so they move them here. It's really interesting. The museum is very dynamic and informative. Also, they have a map to show which countries have the most nuclear weapons, Russia and America. And the question comes up, why these are the countries that are fighting against the small countries that have so little nuclear weapons if they have the most? Just by the bomb museum, you will find the park where the hypocenter was. It's a really weird feeling when you stand where everything started. If you keep walking, you will find the Peace Park really nice and full of statues donated by cities and countries around the world. We met a survivor here in the park and he told us his story. <laughs> This is a very famous, famous statue here in uh, the Peace Park in Nagasaki. It's very sad that we came and they are like fixing it. And I don't know if it's cleaning or something, but they are all covered and actually has a very interesting symbolism. I'm gonna put what it means in the description below. This shrine is a landmark here in Nagasaki. Uh, it's, it's located 800 meters away from the hypocenter where the bomb was dropped. And actually, it got, all of this place was destroyed, destroyed completely. But this shrine, this piece of the shrine stayed here. The other piece of the shrine was destroyed, but the pieces are over there. We're gonna show you the pieces now. quite near to the epicenter where the atomic bomb fell and these are two trees that were damaged badly damaged by it but they reconstructed 
them and now on the top there is a new tree growing so it's quite unusual but quite nice uh, message quite nice symbolism of old and new Nagasaki I think it's time to eat so let's go to walk around and look for the ramen This is so cool here in Japan and I think I saw also in Korea they have in the restaurants the dishes outside so you can see actually how the dish is gonna it's gonna be when you buy it but they're made out of plastic but they do it so good that it really looks natural and then you want to buy it it's really cool everywhere all the restaurants have this this is amazing the tea here it's hot you can actually get a hot green tea oh my god because outside it's quite chilly <laughs> yeah is it yes of course look oh this. yeah it's hot that's pretty cool so we found the ramen restaurant very traditional so let's see what happened This is a traditional Japanese plum. It's marinated, they call it umeboshi. It's very acid and also a bit salty. And apparently they can be marinated in different uh, sauces. This one has even fish oil inside. I tried it already, it's, uh, it is soury and uh, it doesn't actually, you don't feel this uh, fish oil, but you can put it also in soup or in drinks or in some other things, wherever you want to have a bit different flavor. I like it and it's good for skin. I choose the regular the regular ramen with pork, so I'm going in also. I chose uh, red miso spicy ramen and they warned me that it's really spicy but I'm going in. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, put your comments below, you know, thumbs up, and until next week.